Amen. Zechariah 4, 6 through 10. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying grace, grace unto it. Moreover, the Lord of the Lord, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel, or Zerubbabel, have laid the fountain, foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. And thou shalt know the, that the Lord of hosts have sent me unto you. For who have despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet of the land of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. Amen. 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 Bow your heads as we pray. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the reading of the word. We thank you for allowing us to be able to fellowship with your word. Now, Lord, we ask that you open up your spirit that we may receive from the man of God, may be able to receive every fruit, every word that you've given out of his mouth. Lord, open up your spirit that make preaching and teaching easy but effective. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give him praise in advance right now. God has a vision for our lives. Amen. He has a vision for our families, our communities, and our church. God's desire, church, is that we be the head and not the tail. Amen. Above and not beneath. God's desire for us is that we have an impact and an influence on people wherever we go. Amen, amen. And as we consider this immense task, the size of the dream that God has for us, and then as we consider the scarcity of the resources that we have available to us, it's easy for us to convince ourselves that it can never happen. But God's word for each of us today in this house is, you will accomplish this. Amen. You, 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 you will. I believe I'm talking to some folk in here this morning that you set out to accomplish some things and God shared a dream with you. God, God, God told you, you know, that, that this is what he wanted you to do and, and I'll be with you all the way. And you started out and the scarcity of the resources, y'all know what that is? You, know, you didn't have enough money. Okay? The scarcity of the resources were a problem and you couldn't get done and, and it seemed like you know you 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 had no other way of resources and you threw in the towel and you called it quits. And God's word for you this morning is that when I send you, when I call you, you will accomplish this. And you gotta leave that church. And this is a word that all of us church, we need to hear and we need to internalize because here in this text the prophet Zechariah mm -hmm. has a vision and a word and at the time, if I may give you a little background, King Cyrus had given them providential permission to return back home and to build the city and to build the temple and to rebuild the altar and to lay a foundation and, and they had begun to rebuild what was previously torn down and they were happy, they were excited. I mean, this was a time, church, of joy, expectation, anticipation, exuberation. These people were happy. You know, they, 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 you got 
to understand these were people that came out of captivity and God had given them a vision. God said, you can do this. You, just, you, you can do this, you know. And th these were people who had hung their hearts on willow trees, you know, and they had been praising God in a strange land. And now God has said to them, I'm going to give you your own. Oh God, have mercy. I said something. God, God said, I'm going to be your own. You, know, you, you ain't going to have to use nobody else. You ain't going to have to praise God and worship in another land. I'm going to give you your own land, your own church, your own temple, your own altar. I'm going to send you and I'm going to give you everything you need to do it. Come on, All right. All right. All right. And I just believe that. I believe that I'm talking to somebody in here this morning yeah. whose life is similar to these Christians who came out of captivity and followed a dream that God had placed in their heart. Good morning, Sister Marcia and the family. I, I, I just believe that I'm talking to somebody, you know, who has has woken up one morning and, and, and God put something in your spirit, in your heart and, and God said, get up, you know, three o'clock in the morning, get up, go write this down. Write this down. And you got up out of your bed and went to start writing it down and God said, now put an asterisk by this and underline this because this is going to be important. You're going to need this. I just believe I'm talking to some folk, you know, that God woke you up one morning and said, I got something to want you. I don't know whether it's a business I don't know whether it's a ministry. I don't know what it is that God has for you to do. But I believe that God has put something inside of your heart and your spirit that he wants you to do. But this text tells us that what happened, yes. there was a stoppage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. These Christians, God sent them to go and rebuild the city, rebuild the temple, lay a new foundation. And then one day King Cyrus said, okay, all right, all right, y'all gotta stop. No more building, stop. And maybe no king told you to stop. M m maybe there was some legal injunctions, I don't know. Right. Maybe you ran out of money, I don't know. Maybe your haters kept intimidating you. I don't know. All I know is that whatever it was that God gave you to do, you threw in the towel, and that dream came to a screeching halt. Yes. And I know I'm talking to somebody right now because I know I'm painting a portrait of your picture right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because if it had not been for the Lord, you wouldn't be here to hear this message that God says, what I told you I wanted you to do, you will accomplish this. Uh, li li listen to me. You will get this done. Did that make a better sense to everybody? God, God said, you will get this done. I didn't bring you this far you know, to leave you now. You will accomplish this. And here they were. These Christians. Here they were after heaven. They were doing good, church. Mm -hmm. They had started this thing. They were building. Everybody was excited. Everybody was happy. Oh, oh, oh they, they, they could almost see the end before they got there. And then the king said, y'all got to stop. Yeah. My Lord, uh -huh. mm. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. And then I looked at this text, and this, this text, you know, like, told me something else about us. This text told me that God has placed something in your heart. You don't, you don't have to speak. You can raise your hand. Sure, you had dreams that came from God, things that you want to do places you want to go, right. you, 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 ministries, businesses. Yes. God has placed dreams 
in, in, inside of you. What did you do with that dream? Did you bury that dream? Did you put it to the side? What did you do with it? You ain't always just wanted to be you and nothing else and not go further and do better. Talk to me, somebody. I know you wanted more for yourself, more for your children. And God said, you will accomplish this. Go ahead. And these people, these Christians, bless their heart, they began to ponder and think, Brother Derek. And I know, and I understand, because they began to doubt the validity of the fact that it was God that gave them the dream. I guess I'm the only one. They, they, they began to question themselves, you know, was that really God talking or was that just me? All right. Anybody been there? Yeah. No, did, 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 did God really give me that idea, that dream, or was this just me? Come on, okay. You, you, they, they began to question themselves saying, did I get up off my knees too soon before God got through telling me all the rest of the stuff that I needed to know? Huh? Is, is that the reason why this thing stopped? Did, 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 did I misunderstand God? Anybody ever been there? Did, did, I, did, I, did, 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 did I take it the wrong way? What, 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 what happened? And, and, and if, you, if you my age on the sweet side of 60, you probably just said, you know, I'm too old to be bothered with this anymore anyway. I, I ain't worried about it. Amen? Come, come on, sweet 60. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You, 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 you've been working on that thing and, 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 and it stopped. And, and I know I'm too old for this. I'm finna start all back over again. My Lord, come on. But, 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 but I came this morning to serve notice that we serve the kind of God that can not only empower who you are and where you are, but give you a vision of who you can become and where he's going to take you. Can I help somebody? We, we serve the kind of God that can give you your praise back. Okay, because the truth be told, all of us done lost our praise when the work stops, when the project stops, when the dream don't work out. All of us lose our praise. We don't, we, we don't praise God, you know, when that thing stops, when all the money runs out. We don't praise. But that's the time you need to start praising God. You need to give him praise. All of us, church, are on a journey. Yeah. It is characterized by fake faith and superficial strength. My Lord. What you talking about, Pastor? Come on. We fake to each other like we've never been discouraged. Come on, man. We, we fake to each other like we got it going on. Oh, God. <laughs> We fake to each other like we not depressed. We, we got a smile that we can put on our face yes. when the project and the work stopped, when the dream didn't happen the way and folk ask you, you know, how you coming along with that, that your, your business? How you coming along with, you know, we got a way of putting on a fake smile yeah. to make everybody think everything going good. Come on, you are have some real saints in this house, some real folk in this house this morning with me to know, yes, I have faked it. Yes, I have put on a fake smile. Yes, I have act like it was going good when it wasn't going good. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Can I tell you what I see? Go ahead. Go ahead. I see a Halloween party and everybody got on a mask. Uh -huh. And somebody didn't tell you that Halloween is over and go. You can take that mask off. I want to see the real saints in this house. I want to see the folks in this house that ain't shame that I need to go. I need help. When you look at the text, church, these Jews, they're building the temple together. 
They are building, rebuilding the altar together. Watch that word, stick a pen in it, together. They are laying the foundation together. They're doing everything together. When you work together, that means when one gets weak, the other one is there to take up the slack. You, you got to do this thing together. You can't do this by yourself. Now, now, whether you admit it or not, what I just shared with you these last few minutes is a song that all of us have sung. Mm -hmm. So many things we tried, it didn't work out. You sung that song. Yes. You sung it. Matter of fact, some of us have tried many, many, many things and it didn't work out. So we got a remix that we can we can sing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But 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 God showed you an idea, and I understand that from the outset it looked possible. Amen. Talk to me. Uh, from the outset, you had everything all lined up, written down. Step one, step two, step three, this is the way it goes. When, when I get to step four, then at that, I open the doors, you know, to my business. When I get to step four, I, I, I got it made. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't get past step one. Uh -uh. All right. My Lord. Come on. And the work and the dream came to a screeching halt. Uh -huh. And then what happens, church? Can I push the envelope a little further? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then you begin to doubt yourself. Yeah, my Lord. Maybe it's because I just didn't have the ability. Oh, I'm talking to somebody now. The reason that it didn't work out, it wasn't because God gave me the dream. Okay. Maybe I just didn't have the ability. How many of you know that if God will give you the vision, he'll give you the provision? Talk to me, church. Talk to me. I feel good. I feel like preaching now. Oh, my good. I feel like preaching. But I looked at this text, and it showed me that we have so much in common with these people. Because they were vacillating back and forth. Negative, positive, positive, negative. Stuff going good, not stuff going bad. Is that your life? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, 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 no. I know what you're thinking. Pastor, that's easy for you to get up there and say. You don't know what I'm going with. Uh -huh. You don't know what I'm going through. All right. I got all of these here kids. I can't go back to school. All right. You, Pastor, I'm working. I got these kids. You know, I, I can't go back to school. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Pastor says, yes, you can. God says, you will accomplish this. Okay. That's a proclamation, church. Amen. That's a proclamation. But here's what you got to do. Let me give you these couple of points and I'm going to let you go. First of all, you got to put your trust in what God knows. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Contrary to your belief, God saw you struggling. Yeah. God knows exactly where you are. Yeah. God knows what's going on with you. Yeah. you know, we serve the kind of God that gives us 24 hour, seven days a week video surveillance. He sees you. He knows what you're going through. Look, 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 look. I know you're going through drama. I, I know what's going on. I, I, look, I've been there. I know what you're going through. But you got to hang on in there. God says you got to summon up the courage, you know, to be able, you know, like to stand with you. Secondly, you got to put your trust 
in how God leads. See, 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 there were two. There was this statue, this, this, this lamp that, that, that my brother read about. This lamp had two olive branches and it had seven lights around it. The seven lights were the eyes of God. The two olive branches were the leadership. That was Zerubbabel and, and Joshua. He had a political leader and he had a spiritual leader, which was Joshua. God says the seven lights, they, they, they symbolize my eyes that run to and fro all over. I see everything. There's nothing that falls to the ground that I don't know it fell. What kind of God is that? And if you know and believe that you serve that kind of God, don't you throw in the towel. Don't you give up. Don't you stop working. Don't you stop believing. Don't you stop. God says you will accomplish this. Yes, yes, yes. But then I, I know my people. And I know that after this sermon, y'all going to walk out that door and y'all going to forget everything I told y'all. I ain't scared of y'all. I talk to y'all like that. I ain't scared of y'all. You're going to forget everything because, see, my people are the kind of people that go from fad to fad, mate to mate, church to church, town to town, skipping back and forth instead of staying there Amen. and believing God that the vision, the dream, and what he gave you will work out. Stay right there! All right. But we, we, we're not stable. All right. We, come on, can we, can we be real? Yeah. We're not stable people. We, we don't know how to stick and stay. We follow every little fad that that comes along, here we go, you know? And, 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 and to be perfectly honest with you, you know, we put our fulfillment, our dreams, into what we wear and what we come on, oh God, what we drive, amen, and, 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 and the truth tell us in him. You know? we, we put our faith man, fulfillment into Rolex and Gucci and Mercedes and BMWs, and, and we, we put our who we are in that, and you satisfied just because you get one of them. But I'm here to tell you right here, them suckers tear up. That's right. Let me drop this on you and in your spirit, church, because I mean this with all my heart. You cannot allow your self-work to be connected to your net worth. And you got to remember that God is not looking at what you wear. God sees you when you butt naked in the bathroom. He knows exactly who you are. Amen. Yeah, I said. Because he does. Clothes don't mean a thing. What you try don't mean nothing to God. He told me God knows who you are, who you really are. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. Nobody can tell you how this thing's going to end up, but God. Let me send you home with this, cause I, I you know, looking at y'all got a meeting. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Let, let, let me. Let me give you this in tweetable form. Can I do that? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. okay. I, I, I'm going to make it real short. And even though I know they done extended that thing from 240 characters to double that. But I, I'm going to give it to you in tweetable form because I'm ready to sit down. <laughs> you got to move now. All right. That, that, that word now is the operative word right now because what you're supposed to be doing from the get-go that God told you to do, you stop doing it. So you got to back up and link back up with what you drop back down and stop doing. Right. Hitch your wagon back up to it. Yes. Uh -huh. And then now you got to start walking towards your destiny. You 
got to start walking towards your dream. You, 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 you somebody tell me, you got to walk that thing out, okay? Walk that thing out. Because watch this right here. You can't get to your next until you hook back up with your now. You ain't completed your now yet. You got to, somebody say, I'm next. Anybody next? Some say I'm next. If you really want to be next, if you really want God to bless you next, don't be hating on somebody that's getting blessed right now. All you need to do is say, I'm next. I got it. You got that. Anybody claiming that? Give God praise to God. As a matter of fact, let me say this in closing. The opposition that you're going through and you claiming it's the devil, you need to cut that mess out and quit giving the devil that much credit. You need to cut that out. That's right. He just got his chest all stuck out because you keep giving him credit. You know that ain't nothing but the devil. Ain't no, that ain't no devil. It's you. And God said, you will accomplish this. What you going through is opposition, yes. But the enemy is you. My Lord, my Lord. All right, all right. Yeah, the enemy is not external. The enemy is internal. Okay, okay. I could drop that right there and, and, and do a part two on this sermon. <laughs> I can read that right there. Yes, I ain't gonna do y'all right there. Yeah. Close it out, Pastor. Somebody say, close it out, Pastor. Okay, 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 okay. What you going through right now is not opposition. You going through God's training camp. Somewhere along the way, God watched you, saw you, and saw that you need to be retrained. Right. Hello, somebody. Right. Hello, somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody ever yes. done physical training? 